Write a book that people are used to reading. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. The last three manuscripts I have read have been books. First drafts that were pitched to me as, this is a final draft, Joshua, and I'm just about ready to take it to publication. Send it to agents. What do you think before I do that? Eh, yeah, no. You're going to have to rewrite the whole book. You know why? Because you are writing books on topics that bear absolutely no resemblance, absolutely no resemblance to other books in that category. For example, <clears throat> one is a personal finance book. It teaches you how to build wealth in other countries, developing nations specifically. It purports to give you the step-by-step -step strategies to make millions. The first half of the book is the story of the investment company, unironically. No. No. Second book I read recently. Second book I read recently. It's a final draft, just about ready to go to print. Allegedly. Allegedly. I read this book. It purports to be an entertaining personal memoir. I read it, and the first 50 pages are horrific things that happen to the author. I was not entertained. I felt like I was lied to about the contents of the book, but I was not entertained in the least, which is how the first chapter ended. You will be entertained by this book. I was horrified. I was horrified and I felt really bad for the author and what had happened to her. Both of those examples, as with the third example I'm about to give you, the reason why those books don't work is because they are nothing like books that people expect to read. When you're working on your book, think about what people who are going to read books like this expect from books like yours. What works for a personal finance book? What works for an entertaining personal memoir? Seriously, what are the bestsellers, the perennial bestsellers, the ones that are popular year after year after year, the ones that recently hit the New York Times bestseller list? What do those do? What do those books do? Then what you do to set yourself apart so you don't rewrite what's already been written, is you go and look at the neutral reviews, the two-star, the three-star, the four-star reviews on those bestsellers. You're looking for things like this. I wanted to love this book, but I felt like a big topic that was missing was, and whatever comes next goes in your book. See what I did there? You are able to edge out the competition or get a leg up on whatever your preferred analogy is. By figuring out what those other books failed to do, that you can, that you can. Thereby, you're writing a book that people already want to read. Then what you do is you go and grab Publisher Rocket. It's a software that tells you what keywords people are searching for, for books like yours on Amazon how often they're searching for those keywords related to your book. That way you can make sure you're actually writing a book that people are already searching for. And then Publisher Rocket, I'm an affiliate for it because I use it with every single client. Publisher Rocket will then tell you, will then tell you how much the top search results are earning every month for those Amazon books that are on sale, how much they're earning every single month for being in the search results. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. Publisher Rocket will literally tell you how much money you can make. It's remarkable, remarkable, highly recommended. So the third book that I've read recently is one that I thought, hmm, hmm, this is almost there, but not quite. It's a digital marketing book about law specifically, basically how to market your, uh, market your law firm with digital marketing. And as I was reading through it, you know what it did? Every few pages, now go hire me. Now go buy my other course. Now go buy my other book. Now get on my email subscriber list. Are you telling me that I literally just paid for a book? That is an advertisement for the author's business. Never do that, by the way. I recommend you never do that. If I'm buying your book, I do not want to be pitched your services, your other stuff every five seconds, okay? I recommend that you casually mention your services, casually mention your work, casually mention your other products and programs. 
casually. Do not say, oh, no, by the way, you should go buy it. Mention the way that you work with clients. Mention that a client, there was a client you're working with. Mention that there was someone who, gone through you, who had gone through your course, had this question for you, and you're going to answer it now. Make your other products and programs part of the background noise rather than, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. Think sound effects rather than main event. Rather than main event. They're there. and They're noticeable, but they don't pull you out of the movie. They don't distract you. right? It should be clear how other people can work with you. But it should not be an advertisement every five minutes. Anyway, take everything I said to heart. Go grab Publisher Rocket, and you can write a commercially viable book.